What's up everybody? It's your boy Clayton Philpo. Now today I've got two letters of fan mail. Um, I'm sorry for getting a late reply to them. My P.O. box had like a mix up at the post office. Got it all figured out. I've got two pieces of mail. Uh, one is from a recruit, Yemenez I think, uh, who was at recruit training when he sent this. He's probably a Marine now. And the other one uh, is from a younger audience member that is interested in becoming a Marine, but not quite there yet. So, real quick, let me read through the recruit's message. He said, uh, Dear Clayton, how are things going? Hopefully your channel is growing. Your videos really helped a lot. I start field week next week, and the new table too as well. Uh, he, he's going over what he shot on the range uh, and how he's going to improve. He's asking, what games am I playing? Uh, can you give any tips or motivation for somebody uh, that's already at boot camp right now? Uh, it would help him a lot. Also, what's new with you and in the world? Uh, so you guys know I gave an update on my channel just the other day, so that's what's new with me. As far as getting motivated at boot camp, while you're in the heat of it, uh, you know, that can be some trying times right there. I guarantee you it'll be some trying times. Um, the best thing to do is remember that time does not stop. The drill instructors can't stop time. Your fellow recruits can't stop time. It's going to have an end. I know when you get to day 72 and you still got a bunch of training days ahead of you and it just seems so like, ah, oh, it just seems like it's going to be forever. It's like running a marathon, feeling like you ran uh, 20 miles and you realize you're only four miles in. Like that's the feeling you get at boot camp. The best thing I could recommend is to just cool down Realize that everything in its own way is sort of a game with the drill instructors, okay? You gotta figure out how you're gonna game every single day to survive. I know that sounds weird because it's not a game, you know, it's like really serious stuff. But truly, when you take a step back, uh, it is. There's a way to figure out how to get by day by day, how to maintain your sanity, understand that there are gonna be days where you're doing stupid stuff, like where it's hard, where it's challenging, mentally challenging, physically challenging. I tell people all the time, boot camp really is not physically challenging. What it is, is mentally challenging. They'll have you tie your shoes a million times. They'll have you run back and forth between one spot and the other 50, 60 times, and within like 15 minutes. Like, I'm telling you, it's crazy. It really is. They'll tip over your bunk, throw your stuff everywhere outside of your footlocker, and then tell you to go get it and give you two minutes to find everything. It's going to break you down. But not in the way you think. Not physically, but mentally. So, just remember, keep a level head. Remember they can't stop time. And keep pushing forward. You'll be alright. Uh, I guarantee you this guy's a Marine now. Uh, it looks like he was over in... <sighs> San Diego is where this came from. So he was over in MCRD San Diego. Best of luck to you, man. Thanks for writing in. I appreciate it. Moving on. <clears throat> we've got... Moving on, we've got Samantha from Pennsylvania. Now, she's got a few questions here, so I'll try to touch on each one. Uh, essentially, she's saying that she lost quite a bit of weight, but her doctor told her not to lose any more weight. And the only reason why I can think that your doctor would say this, Samantha, is because you're fairly young, and losing too much weight too quickly could be unhealthy. Believe it or not, it can be a little bit unhealthy uh, for you to drop, let's say... 10 pounds a month like that can be considered unhealthy the best thing i've found to do is to try to lose weight maybe one to two pounds per week until you get to your target weight um you want to be very careful i'm sure your doctor doesn't want you getting an eating disorder like i said your doctor knows what they're talking about so definitely listen to your doctor if you don't appreciate that doctor and you don't like their advice go find a new one um but by all means Tell your doctor what you're trying to do, inform them, and uh, take your time because you're young, uh, 15, 16 year olds out there realize you've got a lot of time uh, before you have to go to boot camp, before you have to become a Marine, okay? So take it slow, do it the healthy way, healthy eating, exercise and sleep, and chug water. I'm telling you, it works, it's gonna work for you, okay? Next question is, um, is there any way I can prove to my recruiter that I have asthma but I'm okay? That it was like asthma way back when, when I was a baby. It's not a, not a factor anymore. Sam, <clears throat> I'm going to break your heart right here. And this is, um, this is hard to tell you. But if you have asthma, it's an automatic disqualifier, period. Whether you had asthma as a baby 
whether you grew out of your asthma. Uh, maybe if you have an inhaler, it, it can be mitigated. But unfortunately, it's one of those rules where the military doesn't really want to risk it. So if you have asthma, it's a deal breaker. And I'm really sorry to break that to you. I still encourage you to see a recruiter. Go see a recruiter. Recruiters are shady dudes and gals. That isn't always a bad thing, if you catch my drift. Go see a recruiter. Tell them everything that you just told me in that message. Uh, I know you're young. Guys, girls, you can't go see a recruiter until you're 17. That's a rule. Recruiters aren't able to actually talk to you uh, until you're 17 or else they'll get in trouble. So... You still got a lot of time, stay motivated, you know, lose the weight that you want to lose, live your life, enjoy high school, and see a recruiter when the time comes, and maybe by then they've changed the rule, you don't know, maybe they'll change that rule by now, you know, uh, somebody could be watching this a year, two years, three years in the future, and they're like, dude, you can get in with asthma, no problem, so there's still hope, uh, but as of right now, asthma is a no-go, and uh, finally, <clears throat> Assuming that my recruiter does somehow get me in and I go to MEPS, how would I know my date? Like, can you decide when you leave for the summer or when you leave in fall or when do you ship? Okay, so there's a two-part question here. One, your recruiter is going to tell you when you go to MEPS. Like I said, I've got a MEPS video. All it is is to make sure that you're healthy and you're good to go to boot camp. Now, when you ship to boot camp, that is another story. Yes, it can depend on you. Meaning... You can say, I don't want to leave for boot camp until September, July, August, December, whenever it is. Guys, the truth of the matter is, recruiters have quotas to fill. Uh, they get in trouble if they don't meet their quotas every month. They have to get X amount of people to enlist. They have to get X amount of people to go to boot camp. So they're always going to put pressure on you to go to boot camp sooner. Now, now, now. That's what they're going to say. They might say, hey, I know you want that public affairs job, but, I mean, we got this sweet refrigeration repair job, and they leave in a week. Come on, you want to be a Marine, don't you? It's all just about being a Marine. That is bullcrap, okay? Don't let the Marine recruiter pressure you. Uh, the ball is in your court. You don't have to give in to them. Uh, they might come back and threaten you saying, oh, yeah, well, I'll release you from the depth. I'll release you from my pool. No, they won't. I guarantee it because they need you. And if they do release you, you don't need them, okay? Go see the Air Force recruiter. Go see the Army recruiter. Explore your options. Uh, because I'm going to be honest with you, I want everybody to go to the service that will get them the job that they want. Being a Marine is not worth, like, going for a crappy job. It's just not. So, stand your ground. Uh, hold strong. Quick recap. Um... Staying motivated at boot camp, you know, they can't stop time. Losing weight, you got to do it the healthy way. Asthma is an automatic disqualifier. And shipping uh, and picking a date, it's all on you. Uh, don't let the recruiter boss you around. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment below what you think. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Tell your friends about the YouTube. Uh, and if you want to add me on Xbox or anything like that, my gamer tag is Clayton Philpo. Again, please, please, please send in those comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. All right, we'll see you next time.